Welcome back to the magazine show. And of course, if you're just tuning in, I am your girl, Kalisha J. And I'm so happy to be with you this afternoon because I am joined with some more very exciting guests. And this is, um, you know, them being here is not only exciting, but it's also going to be hopefully um, intellectually stimulating and shed some light to our viewers at home on a very, very serious issue that affects not only us in the in the West, but also in you know the specific continent of Africa and in some parts of the Caribbean and some parts of Asia as well. And of course, we are going to be talking about the subject. But I will firstly introduce my guests, and they are here from the new movie that will be premiering in the on the twenty fourth of July, which is one day after my birthday, by the way. <laughs> um, it is called The Lower Cut, and I am joined with the director George Kelly and the lead actress Lola M.K. So thank welcome you. to the magazine Thanks show. Thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you. you so, so much. It's always a pleasure to see you, Mr. Yes, Kelly. Once again, yes, <laughs> of course, you. and it's yes. such a lovely, you know, time to, to meet you, thank Lola. You. Thank you very much. Thank you thank both you. for being here. Now, as I mentioned um, to our viewers, it is great to see you. But the movie is, you know, something that is of a serious nature. Yeah. But this um, film, I think, is quite different for reasons that you will get into. And it is called The Lower Cut. And um, the subtitle is a docudrama on female genital mutilation. Wow. First and foremost, you know, there has been so much coverage in the mainstream media about female genital mutilation, especially in this country, um, with the increase in a number of young girls being forcibly taken back to parts of Africa, parts of Asia, parts of the Caribbean as well, to have this procedure done and you know when you when i saw um that it was about that i immediately said yes this is something that needs to be told it's mm -hmm. long overdue okay. so mr kelly why did you decide that you wanted to make a movie about um, or rather a docudrama mm -hmm. about female genital mutilation why now um well when i started out in filmmaking i i, I had to do what everybody else was doing Mm -hmm. love stories mm -hmm. and, and, and stuff like that. And that way it was easy for me to hone in my skills, sharpen my, my, my creative edge. And um, I, I just think it's about time I did what filmmaking is really all about. Mm -hmm. About telling crucial stories that affect, influence and change people's thinking. Mm -hmm you know, that change society. If you cannot make a shift in society, why make, why make films? Exactly. This, this is, I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with love stories mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I have made one myself. <laughs> you know, my, the last film I made, you know, the award-winning film yes. was a love story. Exactly, it was. But yeah. here we are. You know, something different. Mm -hmm. So I come from Nigeria, mm -hmm. where a female circumcision, we call it female circumcision, mm -hmm. is very rife, rampant. Mm -hmm and um, different different parts of Nigeria practice it. Yes. Some parts don't. Mm -hmm. um, and not just Nigeria, it's an African problem. Mm -hmm. And not just an African problem, yeah. some parts of Asia, like you exactly, said, yeah. Yeah. you know, humanitarian problem. Mm -hmm. And so I thought it's something the whole world would want to hear about. Of course. And uh, that's exactly why I have uh, chosen that, that topic. Mm. Um, here, like I said, it's called a female genital mutilation. Mm -hmm. And that's where the controversy comes in, you know, uh, looking at it from the masculine point of view. I have a man talking about something that happens to women. Exactly. It could be my daughter, it could be my sister, it could exactly. be, you know. Exactly. And that's, that's the real crux of the matter. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're going to find out in the film. Like I said, it's a docudrama. Mm -hmm. It's a cross between a documentary, mm -hmm. you know, uh, showing facts and figures, UNICEF, World Health Organization, yes. and so on. And as we speak, you know, we're in liaison with the Minister of Health, in Nigeria, Excellent. it is a big topic, it is a serious it is. Uh, issue. First, I'm gonna direct the first question, should I say, to Lola. When you when you decided to get into the role or actually take up the role, yeah. did you know what you were getting into fully? 
Yeah, when I got in contact with um, Mr. Jet mm-hmm. Kelly, my director, mm-hmm. and he told me what the film was about, I I was really excited because it's something serious. I mean, I've done something less serious than that before. Mm-hmm. I've been someone's girlfriend, and I thought, females, this is something everybody needs to know about. Mm-hmm. Okay, w- without giving too much yes. away. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, I am the girl that was circumcised um, when I was quite young mm-hmm. in Gambia. Okay. And it's something to just to look at my life span of mm. when even when I was in my twenties mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. and how it can really affect you in your relationships in your everyday life. I mean, I'm acting the film, yeah. and it, it was so real that people actually go through this. Of Some do. girls actually, it was very it was scary for me. No, of course, <laughs> of course, I can I can just imagine because you know the reality that a lot of people face, you know, without, of course, being too gruesome because this is, yeah. you know, a daytime um, t- television program, but we can't um, water down the seriousness of it. So, uh, studies have shown, and as I'm sure you're well aware, both aware, yeah. that this really has such emotional trauma and, and medical trauma on mm-hmm. these women. They experience severe Flash, period flashbacks, pains, yeah. flashbacks, and some of them are sometimes unable to even have children. Yeah. Yeah. Leads to infertility. How? Yeah. That is... Still, still birth. Goodness. Yeah. Death to unborn babies. Mm. I mean, it, like I said, it's a, it's a docudrama and uh, the documentary side of it tells a lot. We cannot say everything no, of course, in, of in course, a television of course, yeah. uh, uh, interview. Mm-hmm. But the interesting thing, the interesting thing is um, when you look at the, 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 the flyer, mm-hmm. It, it, you you see red. Yes, you do. You see blood on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you do. And, and that was the question you, yes. know, you asked me when we were chatting yes, earlier. Yes, yeah. I, I, you said, is it a horror film? Yeah, I, I did no, say, no, yeah, I did far, ask. Yeah. Far from it, mm. it's not a horror film. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just that uh, the, the, the movie is set between the United Kingdom and the Gambia. Okay. The circumcision scene in the Gambia, where the actual cutting took place, mm. happens to be a bit gruesome. Uh, but we, we tend to, in, in post-production, try to play it down Turn a little down, bit because it's not a horror film. No, of course. We don't want our, our view of viewers to all walk out of the cinema. Mm. Aha, so we've kind of really toned it, toned it down, mm-hmm. but without losing the essence of the, of the, of the story. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and in saying that as well, we have also, in my traditional style, mm-hmm. those who know Josh Kelly, know that when I make my films, mm-hmm. no matter how serious the subject matter is, you will laugh. No, of course, of you, course. You get entertained. There has to be some yeah. sort of break from the the severity Ex- of, exactly. of what we're watching. Yes, you know, comic course. reliefs. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so we have yeah. we have lots of comic reliefs mm-hmm. here and there. If you actually look at the poster, you see the drunken lady with the <laughs> funny yes, looks and I all do. that stuff. You know, that's that's you know chipping in and out. Of course, yeah, yes. comic reliefs here and there. So at the end of the day, we're telling a, a very important story, mm-hmm. and but you still we still manage to get you entertained of and course. educated. Of course. Yeah. Now for the, the, those um, viewers that are interested in coming to see this film. How can they get more information? Where can they buy tickets in advance? Things like that, please, sir. We've got ticket contacts as uh, indicated on the flyer there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the flyer is uh, electronic copies are on Facebook, okay. uh, Twitter, and so on, and social media. Mm-hmm. You know. uh, not, not just that, we've got a, a, an online uh, a ticket purchase outlet as well, Eventbrite. Excellent. So the film is called The Lower Cut. Mm-hmm. So you just go to Eventbrite, type in The Lower Cut. It takes you straight there. Excellent. Uh, the only thing is, uh, VIP tickets are not available online because they're very limited. Excellent. Well, you know, it's been such an absolute pleasure speaking with the both of you. Thank and you. I'm sure our viewers will definitely endeavor to be at this film premiere, which, of course, as we mentioned at the top of the program, is going on on the 24th of July, which is um, next month, but we still have to, you know, build, build it yeah. up. So thank you both so, so much. I do commend you for taking on such a serious, um, serious subject. And I also commend you, Lola, you. for having the courage and the bravery to act that part. So thank you so, so much thank for, you. for thank joining you for us this us. afternoon. Oh, thank, thank you for having thank us. It's thank a pleasure. You. Thank, thank you very, you. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, viewers, if you are definitely interested, as I'm sure you will be, in finding out more information about this docudrama entitled The Lower Cut, please do type in The Lower Cut at Eventbrite, where you can find electronic 
copies of a ticket and also please put this in dates for your diary it's the 24th of july friday the 24th of july which again is the day after my birthday so we're definitely gonna endeavor to be there at the odeon cinema bugsy bugsby way in greenwich so please do be there we're gonna go for a quick musical break but after the break i will be joined by some more guests so don't go anywhere it is still the magazine show <laughs> 